The most effective parabolic SAR setting and trading strategy. As always, this video provides a clear, winning, step-by-step -step guide to how to successfully trade in the Forex, stocks, commodities, or any financial markets, and generate consistent profits. So, by the time you finish this video, you'll know exactly when to enter high probability trade using the parabolic SAR indicator. As usual, we'll have plenty of practical examples. The idea is to fully understand this wonderful trading strategy and to make the most out of it. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto, because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. Parabolic SAR Basics The SAR rises below price as long as the price is in an uptrend. The idea behind the parabolic SAR is that it signals a trailing stop loss, and during an uptrend, the SAR will only rise and never go down, always increasing the protected unrealized profits. When the price reverses and when the price falls below the SAR, after an uptrend, then the direction changes and the SAR rises above price, acting as a trailing stop for the downtrend. Parabolic SAR Trading Strategy the parabolic SAR is a trend-following technical indicator that is commonly used by traders to identify potential entry and exit points in the market. The basic idea behind the parabolic SAR strategy is to use the indicator to identify the direction of the trend and then enter a trade in that direction. Here's how the strategy works. First, identifying the trend. The parabolic SAR is used to identify the direction of the trend. If the dots are above the price, it indicates a downtrend, and if the dots are below the price, it indicates an uptrend. Second, entering a trade. If the trend is up, traders look for the opportunity to buy at a low price. If the trend is down, traders look for the opportunity to sell at a high price. Third, managing the trade. Traders can use the parabolic SAR as a trailing stop loss to manage the trade. As the trend continues, the dots will adjust to follow the price, and traders can move the stop loss along with the dots to lock in profit as the trend continues. Fourth, exiting the trade. When the trend changes direction, the dots will switch position, and traders should close the trade and look for the next opportunity in the opposite direction. It's important to note that the parabolic SAR is not a standalone indicator, and traders should use it in conjunction with other technical and fundamental analysis tools to make informed trading decisions. Additionally, the parabolic SAR strategy can be used in different timeframes and with various types of assets, such as stocks, forex, and commodities. The acceleration factor parabolic SAR sensitivity. How close the SAR trails behind the price is a key factor because it determines how sensitive the SAR reacts to price changes. The higher the sensitivity, the faster the SAR changes its direction. This can be both good and bad, depending on the objective of the trader. If a trader prefers to get in and out of trades quickly, a high sensitivity should be chosen. A trader whose objective it is to ride trades for an extended period and remain in trades during minor retracements should pick a lower sensitivity. In most charting platforms, the sensitivity is either called step or increment. Let's compare how sensitivity impacts the SAR signals. On the left chart, we see the default setting of 0.2 for the increment. On the right chart, I set the increment to 0.01. We can see right away that the SAR on the left chart is giving more signals, and whereas on the right chart, the indicator seems to be smoother. However, we can also see that on the left chart. The price is falling rapidly, and whereas the low sensitivity SAR still signals a long trade, the high sensitivity SAR already signaled a change in direction. 
Thus, the low sensitivity is good during long and strong trends, but when the direction changes quickly, a low sensitivity could lead to evaporating profits. Difficulties Trading SAR The SAR does work well in certain conditions, but, as all trend-following indicators, it fails during volatile range markets. This chart shows that the SAR changed direction seven times during the chosen period. The SAR would have signaled three certain losses or break-even point, three good-sized profit, and one medium-small-sized profitable trades. This might sound okay, but as we all probably can agree, rarely things go as planned, and a loss quickly leads to an emotionally driven decision, and things go downhill from there. It is, therefore, recommended to approach backtesting or regular chart review from a more pessimistic point of view. This scenario shows an even worse situation, and out of the six SAR signals, four would have provided losing trades and just two potential profit. However, this does not mean that the SAR is generally bad indicator or that the signals are flawed. It just means that a trader really needs to know how to use the indicator and when to stay out of the market. This is pretty much the premise of all trading strategies. Nothing will work 100% of the time, and it's a trader's duty to understand when his system works and when he does not have an edge. Possible Solution As with all trading indicators, tools, or concepts, they should never be used on their own, generally speaking. It is always advisable to use additional filter tools to improve signal quality. Let me provide you with a few possible solutions on how to improve the signal quality of the parabolic SAR. Strategy number one. Parabolic SAR trading with ADX and moving average filter. A popular combination is a 50 period exponential moving average together with the 14 period ADX. The weakness of the SAR is range markets and that's why this combination can improve the SAR trading signals potentially. Here are the two filter layers. The ADX is your trend tiebreaker. If the ADX is above 20, you are in a trend. If the ADX is below 20, you are in a range. Thus, a trader would only look for a trade when the ADX is above 20, to avoid range markets that are so dangerous for the SAR. The moving average is the directional filter. When the price is above the moving average, the trader only looks for potential buy trades. The SAR is his trailing stop loss, and he would only re-enter long trades, as long as the price is above the moving average. In this chart, there is one trending phase where the ADX is above 20. During this phase, the price is above the moving average. Thus, the trader will stay aside in all other market conditions, and only look for potential long entries, as long as the price is in the green marked area. This should be simple enough. Or, in this video, I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart, and it will automatically plot all these indicators perfectly on your charts, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description. Strategy number 2. Parabolic SAR trading with slow stochastic filter. Remember, the goal of the filter tools is to filter out range periods. In this example, we, thus, chose a slow stochastic setting, 26, 3, and 3. The stochastic signals strong trending markets when the lines go above 60 or below 40. In this chart you can see how precise the stochastic seems to signal trend markets. First, the stochastic confirms a long uptrend when it increases above 60 and stays there for an extended period. When the price is above the SAR, we only looks for potential buy trades. The SAR is our trailing stop loss. Conversely, in this chart, the stochastic confirms a long downtrend when it dips below 40 and stays there for an extended period. When the price is below the SAR, we only looks for potential sell trades. The SAR is our trailing stop loss. As the previous strategy, I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description. 
And here are other examples of parabolic SAR trading with slow stochastic filter to fully understand this wonderful strategy and to make the most out of it. It's not about a 100% win rate. When you develop an indicator-based trading system, most traders make the mistake of optimizing for win rate. However, win rate is often the least important component. Instead, a trader should maximize his profitable trades and find ways to minimize losing positions. This will tilt the reward-risk ratio in his favor and provide much more to his positive expectancy than just looking at win rate. As always, if you learned something new, or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell and leave us a like to show your support. See you next time.